Alright guys, gonna shoot that final video of the SXB. This is pretty much right before they are gonna be available. What I wanted to show in this video is since I got my 20 amp power supply I was able to fully test this driver and see what it's capable of actually putting out as far as its max output. Uh, that's my new 20 amp uh, constant current power supply. So let's start it off. Okay, let's just try to make the video as short as possible. Most everybody will be running their 445 9mm diodes around 2.2 amps, okay? Um, as you see, here is the input voltage because uh, you cannot see my power supply because it's higher up. This is the current that's going to the diode, and this is the load of the diode. Okay, um, the drop you see is just due to the uh, test load heating up. As you can see, we're at 2.2 amps, and let's drop down to 3.6. Uh, we are pulling 3.1 amps at 4.1 volts. And we're at 3.6. See it's rock solid at 2.2 amps. And we're only pulling 3.5, 3.6 amps at 3.6. Okay. So what we're going to do now, let's go back up to 4.1 and kick up the current a little bit more. As you'll notice, the load will increase also. Uh, might have to drop down uh, once we get into a higher current. Uh, some of you will probably be running it around, say, 2.4 amps. Okay, you can see the load is uh, still above 5 volts and we're at 4.1 we are drawing only 3.5 amps okay at 2.4 amps going to the diode 5 volts load 3.5 that's pretty impressive in my opinion okay we'll drop down to uh, 3.6 See, still rock solid. I'll go down a little bit more. Still rock solid down to 3.6. I can go down lower if it wants. Um, we're only drawing uh, 4 amps at 3.6. Okay, or 4.1 amps at 3.6. Okay, uh, this is probably the max people will run it at. Uh, now we're back up to 4.1. Some of you will probably uh, risk it at 2.5. I haven't tested the 9mm diodes yet for a uh, long term at 2.5 amps, so I still don't recommend it. Uh, but let's just go to 2.7 because that just shows you uh, that 2.5 will be fine. Okay, so we're at 2.7 amps. The load is uh, 5.5. 4 volts okay this is going to be much higher than a 9 millimeter diode right now uh, 9 millimeter diode will probably be around 5.1 uh, volts or around 5 volts okay at, uh, okay 2.7 we're at 4.1 and we're only drawing 4.3 amps okay I'm gonna drop down See we're at 3.6, 2.7 amps is rock solid, and we're at 5.34 uh, load. Okay, and we are drawing 5.1 amps, 3.6 at 5.33 volts load 
at 2.7 amps going to the diode. Okay, let's kick it up. I mean, no one's gonna, we don't need a driver capable of this right now, but I'm just showing you that this driver has more to offer than what we need right now. So if we do get any diodes down in the future uh, that do require higher current, uh, this driver will outlast itself basically so uh, we're getting a little high on the load so let me switch how many diodes that might be too much oh, no that's just about right okay so you can see we're right around 5 volts for the load 3 amps going to the diode 4.1 uh, volts input and we are drawing at 4.1 volts only 4.4 amps with a 5 volt load at 3 amps that's pretty efficient in my opinion uh, do the math out I can't do it in my head right now alright so let's just drop the voltage down to see we're rock solid still at 3 amps okay 3.6 volts are is our input and we're at 4.88 the drop that you've seen is simply due to the test load getting really hot even though I have it somewhat heat sink that's not enough at 3 amps okay we're right now we're drawing 5.1 uh, amps 5.2 amps okay so right now we're going to go up a little bit more to the max I have with these resistors. And that's a 3.25. Okay. So we're at 3.25 amps going to the laser diode or the diode. Okay. The load is 5.13 volts and uh, we have a 4 volt input and it's drawing from your cell 5.1 5.2 amps okay so uh, let's drop the voltage to 3.6 and see what we get Okay, so as you can see, we're at 3.6, we're still at 3.26 amps, and our load is still the same. We are drawing 6.1 amps, and I can tell you right now, this driver has even more <laughs> to go. Uh, just the, the resistors that I have right now, I have it to max out at 3.25 amps. Um, but basically, uh, just wanted to show the final print of the SXB of what it can actually handle. The, the switch on this driver is double uh, what it's doing right now. So this driver is beyond anything that we need uh, anytime soon. Um, so typically, we'll be running our 9mm diodes around... 2.2 amps to 2.5 amps. Uh, since this is a boost drive, you would only use one cell. Um, it would probably require some really high quality cells, uh, 26650s or, or high quality Panasonic cells or Samsungs or brand name cells. You would probably need in order to to run this driver at you know. 2.4 amps 2.5 amps uh, I don't think any China cell will, would really be safe uh, for the cell to do that um, you would most definitely need a brand name cell um, another thing uh, this is pot adjustable um, I will have two versions uh, one with a pot 
and one with fixed for those that don't want to mess with uh, the pot um, it has the soft start feature uh, just like in a regular uh, X boost um, I mean that's pretty much it I just wanted to show you guys what this driver uh, can put out um, it's above anything that we need right now so I think it'll uh, hold us over for uh, some time alright alright thanks guys